Hey everyone, Aiden here, and uh, welcome to the finale for uh, the Sonic playthrough for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, for the Sega Genesis. Uh, last we stopped, we attempted to stop Eggman from launching the Death Egg. And it doesn't seem like it worked. So, now we get to go and find a way to the death egg. Try and put a stop to uh, Eggman's plans once and for all. Uh, one, one, key, uh, one of the key differences between Sonic 3 and uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is that at the end of Sonic 3, uh, defeating Robotnik... Uh, who is using the big arms. Uh, it ends with the. Uh, rebuilt death egg. Crashing. So. Take that how you will. Anyways. Shortly after starting the mushroom hill zone. Which is the first zone. For. Uh, the Sonic and Knuckles side of things. Get this little uh, bit. Now, if you want to keep supersonic, don't hop in this thing. Uh, okay, I need to step away from that. Yeah. Uh, remember what I said last part where uh, I, I was a bit wary about getting super so uh, uh, about getting uh, hypersonic. Well. Those rings are tied to it. And those same light pattern, the same light pattern that you were seeing from the ring and the score time and rings when I was near it are the is the exact same way Sonic is colored and flashes when he turns hyper upon getting all seven and fifty rings. So yeah, fun times. Let's do this. Luckily, so long as I don't mess up, I can get all seven uh, Super Emeralds, because that's what these Chaos Emeralds are about to turn into. Um, uh, yeah. uh, I can get all seven so long as I don't mess up t more than once. Uh, by the end of this. I'm gonna start off with the, the right hand side. The right hand side tends to give me more problems than any other. Also, before I continue on this special stage, um, there's also a motion sickness warning. These special stages, as well as some of the movement through the stage, uh, standard stages and whatnot, can make one motion sick. Or at least nauseous. What that was it might have been a spider. Um. Anyways, I wanted to get that out the way as well. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen to me right now. I do not need another bit of uh, bout of nausea. This, if you haven't encountered the me uh, the mechanic of the, I hit left, but it such is the case with this game sometimes. Um, the bumper mechanic that was a very very strong case of like what it does. All right, trying to go for the other one. Oh, 
But yeah, because the Chaos Emeralds have turned into Super Emeralds, well, you can't go Super anymore. And the, uh, once that happens, the only way to access the, oops, the, uh, final stage is, well... The only way to access it after they turn into Super Emeralds is to, well, acquire the Super Emeralds. So yeah, fun times. <clears throat> Take two. Make sure you jump immediately after you grab that third blue spear in that first line because, well, it gets a bit dicey otherwise. And you run the risk of missing the, uh, the spear that's directly after. So yeah, fun times. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I get to go through all that again. Okay. Looks like we're not getting all seven until the flying battery zone at the earliest. That is perfectly fine. I misread what was going on. I really do not care for that special stage at all coming down here we can get a, a pretty much instant access to another attempt don't worry I will be showing off all of the special stages I'm going after all the super emeralds because well Kind of hard to show off the final, the final, uh, final stage of the game without getting all of them. So yeah, fun times. We were so close to getting this particular Super Emerald. Just to make sure I don't mess up, I've got to get used to uh, not pressing up after uh, grabbing those first two uh, blue spears on after the golden spear. There it is. Finally, we got this blasted thing. I am so embarrassed that it took me three tries, but it is what it is. It can't be helped. Oh. Also, I'm trying to hurry up and get to each special stage because as much as I love that special stage music, it repeats way too easily. And yeah, it's Probably one of my favorite tracks in Sonic and Knuckles. I'm not gonna lie! Ugh. Try not to go too far to the left when you come up this thing, otherwise you get sprung up there. If you want the fourth and final special ring that's in this stage. Ah. Okay to go for this one not as bad in my opinion but it can go bad I almost messed that up already Man, growing up, I used to think that picking up the rings 
was part of what caused Sonic to speed up. I'm so glad I was wrong about that. And speaking of being wrong, I was wrong during the uh, last stream. About what, well, basically what caused the, uh, the continues and what getting a perfect does. Oops. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. But it worked. Because the last one was on the inside still. Woo! I'm so glad that mechanics is a thing. I really am. But, uh... Getting 50 rings in one of the special stages... Is what allows one to get a continue. Via the special stages. Getting a perfect gets you an extra life. Regardless of how many rings there are in it. Ah! I was trying to pick an insta shield that thing. Oh well. Time to fight the, uh,. Act one boss. Get a couple of uh, quick hits in. Insta shield is the only way to hit that thing when it's that high up. Oh yeah. That free 10 rings at the beginning. Oh, hi, Knuckles. How you doing? Nope. D Knuckles. Heck. Okay, that was a thing. Anyways, once you gain access, to, uh, once you regain control, unless you're after the, uh, the special rings, grab this invulnerability. Hell, I still grab it out of habit just in case I need it. First time I've ever done that before. <laughs> okay, moving on. You need to hit that special, uh, that red spring earlier to get to up here. Alright, we've gotten two. Alright, now that we've cleared out the center area, now we're going along the outside and finishing the, the rest of the blue spheres here. And boom. Okay. I'm going to be leaving the center one of the Super Emeralds for last because, well... There's next to no chance to mess it up, uh, if you know what you're doing. Whereas all the rest, it, a simple mistake is all it'll take to mess it up. Anyways, there's the first of them. Now why not? I'll just drop off. Whoops. Did not mean to drop down, but that's fine. Let's grab this thing. Move back a little bit. And it'll push you up just enough to get up to this second special stage. Alright, now we're starting over on the far left. Let's see which one this was. Oh, okay. can be pretty easy to get lost here, but it is what it is. Oops. 
There we go. Okay. All that way has been cleared. Let's go this way. Backtrack a little bit. Okay, got that side already. How about over here? Yes, I have. Okay. One more set of sticks. Where is it? Now begins the hunt. Not that way. Not that way. There it is. Okay. Woo! That one's somewhat similar, in my opinion, to the one that's in the center, as you will eventually see, because it's also very easy to get lost uh, once you're down to, like, 8 to 12 blue spheres. In that center one. Let's see. Okay. We coming up. Yep. Here it is. Come on. Upsy daisy. Make sure not to jump forward when that air is blowing. It'll push you back. I almost got hit. <laughs> you gotta go at just the right angle. Let go at just the right angle in order to make it across. And here we have our third one already. You know what you're doing? Finding these things can go pretty quick. I'm not gonna lie, I used a, I I learned the pathing by looking at a map on Sonic Retro. So, yeah. Okay, this one's fairly simple. It's just a straight path, but after this set, be prepared to jump on the final, uh, after the final blue orb, otherwise you're gonna run into a red orb. Or, that can happen. Been a while since I messed up on that one, especially in that way. Been a very, very long time. But yeah, that was the second to last, I want to say, of the rings that you can get in, uh... in this stage. Here's the last of them. on this zone that we can access. That's Sonic, I should say. That is pretty much locked to the same pathing, in a manner of speaking, but he can reach some of the rings easier than Sonic because, well, he can fly. I almost over jumped because I took too long to press the jump button. But yeah, if you want a perfect, make sure you grab the rings uh, in the center of where all the blue spheres are. See if I missed time that jump or not. No, I did not. Okay. Only two more remain.
pretty happy about that. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Just in case that thing's for some reason just respawned. Well, there's a nice little secret concerning this particular spot, and I'm trying- I can never remember how to access it. I think it involved getting this thing as high up as you can before dropping down. Nope. That was not how to do it. If you do it right, uh, Sonic or whoever is able to, uh, at the top of this slope, go a little higher up and into a secret area that either has a i can't remember if it's an electric shield or a fire shield but it it turns pretty handy okay got that was there and now i don't have enough but yeah it puts you out over here on the other side of this thing god i remember First seeing this after, uh, after pretty much learning everything, for the most part, about Sonic 3. Back when this first came out, seeing it uh, as a kind of playable demo in Hastings. Which was a uh, video and game rental store. Which eventually turned into a little bit more than just that. But yeah. This is, this is the fight against Eggman on this stage. It's nothing but a chase that continues until you beat him or you lose. Either or. And it's pretty much just about dodging uh, the spikes in between hits. And I'm trying to remember if it gets harder as you progress through it without beating Eggman, or if it's if it's just uh, for the other two that I'm thinking of. God, I love this stage theme. No, you're not getting a chance to shoot me with one of those pellets. Fire shield, super freaking useful in this stage. I used to blaze through this. Just using the fire shield. No transformations or anything. And it, it was a thrill. Missed my time. But, that's okay. I can just hop up here and hop on. Knuckles has a little bit harder time. Uh, as you'll hear me say again whenever it comes time to play as him. Because, well, he has a shorter jump. Be careful of those. Those things have actually caused a decent number of deaths because I didn't know what I was doing. Tricky, tricky. That's a little nod to, uh... What was that frickin' zone? Uh... The second to last zone in Sonic 2. I'm drawing a blank on what it was called. Yeah, like I'm letting you squash me. Hurry up and get down here. Nice attention to detail. The badniks do get uh, magnetized to the ceiling whenever it turns on. So that's pretty cool. One downside to the invulnerability in this. It removes 
anything that you're except for the uh, magnetize magnetization of the uh, the electric shield and the the not drowning bit of the water shield. You can't dash with the fire shield while you have the invulnerability going. Main reason I'm following this path is well to get more chances at the uh at the bonus stages. Okay. Up on this thing, wait for it to go up as high as you can. Rev up. Oh, I almost didn't make that. And come into here for yet another special stage. Or 50 range if you already have all seven emeralds. Oh yeah, fun times. That's pretty straightforward. I like it for that. I'm not gonna lie, at that branching path, I don't remember what it leads to. But yeah, stage is already done. Only one remains. And it's the simplest of the seven. Oh, keep forgetting there's not one right here. But we're near the boss. Wait, no, that was the first one. Never mind, we're not near the boss. Not yet, anyways. Now, what you need to do for this part to proceed is, well, move out of the way of this two or three times. Depends on which one it is. So, yeah, on this one, jump back down, uh, jump while you're going down it, and come over here. For the second of the special rings on this. On this particular act. Okay, I'm leaving those, uh, those particular ones alone until the last. That's part of the re that's, I'm not gonna lie, part of the reason why I get lost is trying to find those things again. Okay, now down and find the others. Go on over here. No. Aha! Um. Ah, here we go. And now we can go after those, uh, those two particular uh, blue spheres that uh, two sets of blue spheres that are only four of them. Here's the first. And to quickly get over to the other one. Hit that gold sphere. There we go. We now have access to hypersonic. You're not going to see me, uh, hopefully you won't be seeing me transform into hypersonic very often because it's hard on the eyes. And getting all seven super emeralds activates the one on the back. 
It's called the Master Emerald. So yeah. Like honestly, there's only one true benefit to uh to getting hypersonic over supersonic, and that's the fact that supersonic uh upon pressing the uh the button again while in the transformed mode uh you do a screen clearing flash as well as a double jump in any direction it's pretty cool oh god Ooh, i almost messed that up don't jump on this one it it deploys badniks it's a trap Welcome to the stream. Alright. Now we're at the boss. A little unorthodox. Yeah, have you have it hurt itself. And because it can do that, it's usually better to go under the one that's about to attack. Alright, one more time and it's done. There we go. I enjoy fighting that one, regardless. Either one on the left or the right works towards doing that. I'm going to be taking a bit of a roundabout route just so I can... Oh, I almost got crushed there. Um, just so I can show where the other two are. I won't be able to do that really for the following zones. You do what you can. Shit. Not want to do that. And if I can manage to not uh, transform, all the better. Because that means more rings I get to keep. And, uh, and save the surprise of what hypersonic looks like. Or when we get to the final zone. Okay. Need to head down here. And pop over here on the switch and then we can make our way up welcome to the stream how are y'all doing tonight you know what i haven't shown any of the sonic and knuckles themed bonus stages I've been getting this one a lot, even in practice. To the point, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm having a bit of trouble remembering what the, uh... What the other one was. Oh my goodness, so many bubble shields. Yeah, the object basically is to, uh, hit those things. Uh, to get an item out of them. And try not to get caught by the magnet field that's... Uh, uh, making its way up. Oh. 
God, that makes me nervous every time. I used to think that thing was a trap, too. Real quick. Love that added detail. Or well, that minor little detail. Oh! Is it? Nope. Trying to remember what the other one was, and I am drawing such a blank on what the fourth bonus stage was. Oh well, can't be helped. Oh, here's where the other one is. Now, those that have played Sonic 2 might recognize this fight, but there's a bit of a difference. This time, instead of hitting the, uh, the globe, because, well, one, you kinda can't in this unless you're Super Sonic or Hyper Sonic. We're basically just having him destroy his own frickin' airship. Which I just... It just makes me laugh. Let's Eggman look every time. Or not every time. I confused it there for a moment or what happens when you hit the thing in Sonic 2. But the stage isn't done. Now we have to hurry on over. To keep from getting crushed. And now there's nothing we can do currently as Sonic. Except wait. Now once it picks you up, uh, once it grabs you, without getting crushed, start moving to the left so that, well, you don't get hit by the spikes and then crushed. And now it's time for the actual boss fight of uh, the Flying Battery Zone. Luckily, he's pretty simple with the fire shield. Like, it's actually kind of a joke. Now, say you're transformed and you feel like just staying in the center and hitting him when he comes up. He's a little bit wise to that. and <laughs> At least seemed to be whenever I was doing a test run to make sure, you know, things would work properly. Um... He wouldn't, he wouldn't come up to get hit. Now for everybody's, or at least a majority of people's least favorite stage, uh, set of stages in the entire, in the entire, uh, game, both Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. Standopolis Zone, it's a bit of a slog. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to go down. Not if I can help it. I said nope. Oh, now I got no choice. I always did find this part cool.
That kind of thing always made me go, okay, that's really cool. Now, if memory... If memory serves, there is some shields on the other side of this little ride. No? Oops, did not mean to transform. Okay, that I guess that works. Unintentional death. Oh my word. Hey, I get another shot at this at least. Okay, can't jump up that. Good to know. Ah, good to know the caterpillars are coming out of the freaking sand. Oops. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little lost now. Okay, that, that actually works. I think I know where I am now. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not used to being here with Sonic. Alright. Bad Nick faking as, uh, faking being as a Brock. I almost touched the spikes. Oh god, hi. Ooh. I want that. Oh. Bad. Bad, bad, Nick. Oh my word. We've also got an another rather unorthodox boss fight coming up. And I do believe we're coming up on it. I could have sworn there's like a one up or something in there, but that's probably another outcropping or what have you. Ah, made it up here. Part of the reason I like the the uh the thunder shield. Okay, good. Wasn't sure if I was near that one or not. I'll just ride this for a little bit. And so many attempts at being cr uh, at crushing Sonic, literally. Ouchies. Okay, it's this one. I don't feel like it.
Well, we're at the boss. Yeah. I wasn't kidding when I said this fight is yet another unorthodox one. You have to get it to basically uh, damage itself, but there's really only one way to do it. Well, there's two ways to go about it. One, well, both are very slow. But one's slower than, uh, one's quicker than the other. You basically need to get them to, the only way to defeat it is to get it to jump, uh, get it into this sand pit over here. So, yeah, fun times. Oops. Get in there. Oh. Okay. That happened. Welcome to the stream. Oh. Now for the main reason people do not care for this zone. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that lit as best I can. And now it begins. We have just now let loose a bunch of ghosts. Which come out as the stage gets darker. Memory serves there is something over this way. Yep. Special ring. Hello, little ghosty. Oops, it's on it. You need over on this one to progress. Also, as it gets darker, well, they start to get more menacing. Eventually, getting to where they, well, they start attacking. And you'll know they're in that, uh, uh, gonna be attacking because, well, thanks for the demonstrating game, they grow horns. The only way to get rid of them is to turn the lights back on. Now, Sonic needs to use this, if memory serves, but I could be thinking of later in the stage. Been a good while since I last played Sandopolis. Not gonna lie. Oh, Sandopolis and beyond. Okay. <laughs> Okay. This works too. Ah. Uh. Alright, let's see if I can get a shield. Nothing in that one. Oh, God. You know what? I'm okay with this one. Let's get out of this 
bonus stage. I would have preferred a thunder, uh, the electric shield, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, and I wanted out of that stage as soon as possible. Oh boy, here we go. I'm not gonna lie, this right here is part of, I, I, I was sorely tempted to not go for a shield, just use the transformation. Okay. Now this one feels a little bit quicker as you can probably tell here. I'll never understand why they put the speed shoes there. To get crushed at that point. Not do me out. Very easy. I do believe we're almost on with the stage. Starting to use that fast moving one. Okay, no transformation. That's a okay with me. Still, I want to move. Quickly, because we are over the halfway mark for, well, for uh, time over. I do not remember that section. That was interesting to deal with. I think we're good. Yep. This is where the path splits. Knuckles has to go down because he can't make that jump. And Sonic has to go up because, well, he can't proceed down there. Alright, we needed to break that. Luckily, this is all it fills. Ah, darn. Missed my chance at grabbing another 50 rings, but hey, it is what it is. Now we're at the boss. I got about 2 minutes 50 seconds to beat him. Not too bad. We're not giving you the chance to use your little, uh... Okay, maybe we are. Still hit you, Eggman. Also, you you can end up losing if he progresses too far to the left. So try to keep that in mind as you fight him. Oh my word. Okay. Oh. 
we finished them off now to yet another of my favorite stages the music on this next zone is phenomenal in both acts and both acts is a different tune Also, if you're going after the Super Emeralds, this zone is your last chance at getting them. Luckily, upon beating the game, if you're playing via Sonic 3 and Knuckles, you can just, uh, uh, upon beating the, the last stage you can do without all of the Emeralds, you gain access to levels. Uh, you gain access to playing through any of the previous stages. Uh, any of the previous acts, which is pretty freaking cool. Couple of those enemies right there, or at least that cloud. Even Supersonic will lose rings per second if it if a cloud attaches itself. Thanks for the demonstration, game. But yeah, as you can see from this kind of design, the fire shield is your best friend in this zone. Speaking of. Couple of traps. There are traps all over the place to keep you from, uh, to make it to where you don't get to keep your shield. One of these days, I, one of the things I never tried was actually beating Sonic 3 and Knuckles without going for the Super Emeralds. I've never tried. Tried everything else. I like how that thing is actually a uh, an actual boss in Sonic Mania. Ah, stupid fireballs can't hurt me. Don't get too close to those when they explode because the explosion itself can and will knock away any shields. Went over to the right a little too soon because, well, as you just saw, another special ring. Yeah, if I can manage to keep this for both acts, I am going to be very happy. Oh yeah, that's what the uh, electric shield's for. I guess that's a, a path that only Tails can take. I'm not sure. I've never taken it before. Oh. Yeah, part of me is messing around on the zone because, well, it's it's a lot of fun. I enjoy this stage a little too much. Nope, not not playing with that thing right now. No.
lots of verticality to this zone. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember some of some of it being like so all over the place. Oh no. This part. And I just trivialized my dread. Lovely. <laughs> Trying not to annoy y'all with the sound effects. Oh, did not mean to do that, but... Should be coming across another checkpoint soon. Just try not to pay attention to what Sonic looks like. If you can. Uh, no. No Robotniks. Good. Boss time. Prototype hand for oops got that was coming up All right, that's one part down got to destroy all three parts Well on the bright side at least I can now instant shield again with no worries try not to get hit directly by that thing because like be completely under it if memory serves you can get crushed by it I could be thinking of a similar version of it that uh, in Sonic Mania best track in the game coming up in my opinion In Palace Zones uh, theme. So we'll be hearing it for the next two zones. Woo! I only came up here for this. But I'll see how long I can stay up here. Or stay on the upper path. Okay, cool. Already heading down. I am A okay with that. Oh no. Ah, it's just about the question why that was there. You can't get up there, at least not as Sonic. No, I do not want to go along that. Oh no. Did not mean to do that, but hey, it can't be helped. At least I didn't fall into the spikes. Oh no. The climb. I was hoping I would bypass this. Weird. I don't remember this part of the climb. Ah! 
There we go. Gotta avoid the fire. Oh no. I hate those things. Okay. About three minutes into this st particular stage, and we're making some decent headway through it. Uh, so easy to get crushed in this game, uh, in the in these stages. A little nerve-wracking. Not gonna lie. And down here's yet another one. What the heck did that switch do? Oh! That's cool. Nice little shortcut. Oh, please let this be the bumper one. Yes! Give me the fire. Give me the fire. Woo! Excellent. We're almost done with Lava Reef Zone State uh, Act 2. Oh. Glad my reaction time was a little higher than usual for that one. All right. Oh, I know that thing. Where are you, Knuckles? Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, gun it. But now it's time to deal with Eggman. As long as I don't get hit here during this part of the uh, stage. We should be good. And even though I've got the fire shield, I'm not going to be walking along the lava on this part because, well, yeah. the screen going up. And now it starts going down. Alright, now if well, I wanted to, I could drop down all the way, but I'm not going to do that. There's an electric shield over on the right, and up here is another fire shield, should you need it. But yeah, I can just stand here in the lava. Right, fine, I'll stand on this one. Hi, Eggman. Oh, but yeah, the objective is to get him to hurt himself. Try to stay in the center as best you can because he'll pop up on the sides. He only ever pops up on the sides. And shoots three of those spiked balls. While also inclining the, the thing to where it's going down to him. Luckily, it, this, this fight's a joke. In my opinion. Like, it can be challenging without the fire shield, but with it... 
You got nothing to worry about. And now we enter Hidden Pallet Zone proper. Which is super short, by the way. And that's the stage. <laughs> Pretty much. We got we still got a boss fight, but yeah, that's the stage. Pretty interesting thing on the background there. But it's time to stop knuckles. You done, Knuckles? No? How about now? Good. Last time he messes with us in this game. Done being a punk. And hey, it's the Super Emeralds. Eggman has finally revealed his true colors and is after the Master Emerald. Six, seven, yeah, there is no way to get him to drop the Master Emerald at this point. But because Eggman has betrayed him, he decided, alright, fine, I'll get my payback and help Sonic. Welcome to the, uh, technically the third to last zone. And yeah, thanks to the Master Emerald, the Death Egg is fully operable, uh, fully operational, and it's, well, <laughs> more powerful than before. Oops. This stage is pretty cool because if memory serves, it has some major callbacks to, uh, it's only one act and the, the boss fights in it are all major callbacks to previous, uh, previous fights against Eggman. And I do believe we're coming across our first one. Yep. Only this time, it's not... Uh, oops, did not mean to do that. It's, uh... I'm trying to remember... Which one this is? I think it's called Mecha Sonic. Okay, I need to find a checkpoint and soon. Hey, that made up for the, uh... I was transformed. That's good. Ah. Uh. Okay. 
But yeah, there are no special rings from this point forward. Trying to remember what the other fights against Mecha Sonic or whatever it's called are. Landing in that thing is so freaking hard to do sometimes. Alright, which one is this? Oh, of course it's this one. Least favorite of my Sonic 1 fight, uh, Sonic 2 fights. Six, seven, eight. Boom. Well, aside from the final boss fight of Sonic 2, that one's probably my least favorite fight. Stand right here and you'll automatically get picked up by this and then get launched once uh, it releases you. Thankfully, you don't need to worry about getting crushed or falling into a bottomless pit during that point. Okay, good. I don't need to worry about transforming anymore. Ah. Okay, going into the fight with no rings. This ought to be interesting. Oh wait, we're not there yet. We're almost there though. We're in the final stretch. Now we're at the fight. The, the major fight of this stage. Why do you do that? All right, done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now to go into the death bag. Which gets really trippy at times. There are anti-gravity mechanics and whatnot. At times. But I like this death egg so much more than the, uh, than the one in Sonic 2. I'm honestly not that big a fan of Sonic 2. Those that like it, cool. It's not a bad game. Not in the slightest. I just... Oh, gods. This works, I suppose. Oh, I definitely want that. Lots of electrical hazards in this stage, as you can see. Careful though, because memory serves the uh, the bolts of lightning that come out of that actually can still uh, knock the shield away. So, do be careful of that. Yeah, having this will also allow us some uh, shortcuts as we proceed. These are also some of the longest stages in the entire game. So, yeah, fun times. Fuck this, I'm walking. You quit bouncing me back and forth, thank you.
I don't want on. Thank you. Oh boy. These things are time waste, but I find them so freaking cool. Hopefully, you don't get motion sick watching this. Because it's a wild loop to loop. Hopefully that's the only one I'll be showing. Oh no, not this part. Is it the part I think it? No, that was not the part I was thinking. Ah, I lost it. I lost my electric shield. Now I need to be more careful. This part, if I had the electric shield, I could have just dropped all the way down and moved along. To realize this part so freaking much. Oh, didn't know doing that would do that. Or jumping on it would do that. It's a no. Let's see if I can get a shield back, shall we? I almost didn't make that. You know what? Better than no shield. Okay. Oh no, is that thing gonna catch me? It caught me. Oh well. Oh man. Okay. We're at the part I was talking about a moment ago. Uh, dreading a moment ago. We gotta turn all of the... All six of these buttons red. There we go. Now just the middle one on this end. And there we go. We're past that point. Thank God. Luckily that one's short-lived. Nope. Don't want that one. Thank you though, game. Like I stated before, I'm trying my best not to... Did you quit it, game? You know what? Fuck it. I'll go without the, uh... I'll take on the boss without shield. Oh no. How far will this set me back? If I somehow lose. I 
All right, phase two. The part where it can very easily kill me. Yeah. Oh man, I am so nervous. I'm doing good though. I'm doing good. I can do this. Ugh. That was a little close. Technically, I don't need to rev up. This isn't Sonic CD, but it's a habit. Okay. So far, so good. If memory serves, we have not had a single time over. So hopefully that manages to continue by the end of this, uh, this act. This is the final act outside of the final zone. Yeah, we're in outer space now. I want that. If. If. Fuck. I'll take this. Dead. not dealing with that thing and I did not see that screw at all oh this is what I wanted this is what I wanted did you knock it off game going up And going back down. Going all around, that's for sure. Nope. Not dealing with that. Stage music here is a lot of fun. Careful the robotic machine, uh, the robotic monitors because they will damage you. And if you got no rings, well, that's an instant death. No, I'm not letting that thing do that. Okay, the, on this stage, just to be safe, take the freaking. Take the ride, in my opinion. Oh, doesn't look like it was needed. Would have been an interesting take if they had the stealing dropping instead of having the conveyor belt moving. Well, as you try to get the uh, conveyor belt to go down, I should say. Okay, we're at that point of the stage. Gotcha. Yep, gotta... Oh, what? I clipped right through it. There we go.
Ah. I'm still progressing, Robotnik. Almost to him. I am trying to get through as fast as we can because there is more than just one fight. And there is a high chance of an actual time over. But we will get to hear my all-time favorite. Uh, one of my all-time favorite tracks. When we uh, get past the first fight of this act. Okay, yeah, we should be coming up on it real quick. Got that, because I believe that's the last checkpoint. Yep. Last time. And yet another one that we have to get to hurt itself. And this one's actually obnoxious to do. Ah. Okay, no transformations. Got it. Ah, didn't time it quick enough. Oops. Thanks for the help. Stupid boss. And like that, it's time to take you down, Robotnik. See? Time did not reset. Love this track. So much. It played during the big arms fight at the end of Sonic 3. This fight is so fucking awesome. And first phase done. So far, so good. Yes! Yeah. Only try for two. Do not get greedy. Oh, I almost fell into the hole there. And like that, we have beaten Robotnik. However, because we have all seven Super Emeralds, it's time to... Uh, uh, well, not just yet. We're almost there, though. After we... St uh, yeah! Uh... Get the Master Emerald from him. It's time for the transformation. And into the Doomsday Zone, which is the final zone for Sonic. Tails has, does not have access to it. 
other than Knuckles, but Knuckles has his own set of stuff, so yeah. Try to keep your rank count high if you can help it. Don't get hit. This first part's just a bit of a waiting game. As you get closer to him. Super precise movement. Okay, now we're at now we're at the fight. Get him to launch those, and basically we need to trick these missiles into hitting the cockpit. Luckily, pressing the jump button does cause you to kind of dash a bit. without using any rings either that's always nice ah oh the the freaking gunfire actually counteracted the uh, uh kept me from getting hit by it all right phase one Finished. Give us back that Master Emerald, Robotnik. Ah. He's deploying his freaking flares. Did we hit him? I couldn't tell. I'm not gonna lie. Gotta get some rings. Need some rings. Come on, game. Very, very likely to time out during this. But, I'm doing my best not to run out of rings. Just like that, we have beaten Sonic Man Knuckles of Sonic. It's not a whole lot different than the ending, if I recall correctly. Aside from, uh... Well, no, I don't think there is any real difference in the ending for uh, Sonic, just whether or not you have access to the Doomsday Zone. If I'm wrong about it, please let me know, because I do not want to spread any misinformation, especially about one of my all-time favorite games. But yeah, we've returned the Master Emerald to Floating Island, and it is, once again, loading. And I guess they figured the Master Emerald would be safer wherever, like, nearby Knuckles instead of in the Hidden Palace Zone, especially seeing as Eggman knows where the Hidden Palace is. So yeah. This was quite the fun little playthrough. But we're not done yet. We've still got a playthrough as Knuckles and a playthrough as Tails. And, uh, Knuckles' playthrough is...
one or two zones shorter. So it's going to definitely be a shorter playthrough. The entirety of Sonic 3 is still playable. And, uh, special surprise past, uh, Hidden Palace. Cells I'm saving for last because it's literally pretty much just a retread of the playthrough as Sonic minus Doomsday Zone. And a really, really unique transformation. One we never get to see again. Understandably so, but still. Yeah, I'm sorry, Synthetic Design. Uh, thanks for making it, though. Or, thanks for stopping by, at least. Uh, you can watch the VOD, or if you feel like waiting, uh, I will be, uh, I will be uploading it to my YouTube channel. Uh, link should be down below in the, uh, description or in the about section i don't remember what it's called hypersonic spot uh, he's a little hard on my eyes so i try not to use him ah you can go title screen title screen come on thank you also if you manage not to get all the chaos emeralds or Super Emeralds. Instead of this, you see Eggman tossing them back and forth. Memory serves. Either that or he's just standing there chuckling. <laughs> but yeah. A little taste of what I was talking about. You have access to literally every stage. Once you get all the Super Emeralds and beat Doomsday Zone, even that's available to you. But next time, uh, next time we meet on this channel. Um, oh, I wish. If I had the, if I had an income, I would most definitely, because it's the first time since the PS2 that I could, or since the PS3, one of the two. Uh, that Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Instead of Sonic 3 separate and Sonic and Knuckles separate. Has been playable. So I'm, I'm super stoked about that. Lots of excellent gems. Um, okay, I'm moving that away from there because, yeah, the emeralds flashing could end up messing with people's eyes. Uh, yeah, next time we meet, I'm going to be doing, uh, starting the Knuckles play, uh, playthrough. And I'm seeing as it's shorter, I might just do it all in one sitting. We shall see. Oh, thanks for the follow. Um, it's going to be... Very interesting because he has a much different path through a majority of the stages. So it's going to be... It's going to feel so different. To, uh, to anyone who has played as only Sonic or Sonic and Tails or Tails. So, yeah. Hope you all look forward to that. And, uh, well, until next time. Y'all take care.